You are not obligated to accommodate people with their expectations of you. Never provide anyone the authority to dictate your way of life. You and God have ultimate authority over your life, and you should flex that control. You have to learn to make your own decisions and operate with confidence. As long as what you do makes you happy, and you're not sacrificing your integrity, anyone you surround yourself with should be supportive of your journey. Side note, I specify sacrificing integrity because if an individual feels like you're not being genuine, like you're not being yourself, and or on some nut shit, they have every right to call you out on your bullshit whether what you do makes you happy or not. It's called being a good friend. Granted, not everyone is going to be in agreement with your path. Not everyone is appreciative of change. People are going to feel how they feel, but you can't allow someone else's feelings to determine how you conduct yourself. You should be selective in particular with who you surround yourself with to ensure a positive influence during growth. Bad energy can manipulate the mind and stagnate progression. Anyone not in support of you bettering yourself must be removed a distance for quality assurance purposes. People don't want to see you do good, especially if they feel miserable about themselves. Misery loves company. And in many instances, folks try to put their insecurities on you. So because they lack confidence, their advice comes from a place of discouragement instead of optimism. Now let's get into this. I can't speak for y'all, but me personally, as a grown ass man, as an adult, I live only under the authority of God. Any other instance is a respect thing. Now, I understand folks want to please their parents, but you have to understand, though you may be their child, y'all are both grown. So you have to reevaluate what you premise to be disrespect. As an adult, having a contrary belief to your parents is not disrespectful, regardless if that's how they examine it or not. Be the authority in your life and let their words act as advice. If you let someone's entitlement issues dictate how you maneuver, you will always be a slave to your journey instead of the facilitator. The only repercussion in not following advice is a learning experience because only the participant can determine if the advice was good or not, not the instructor. And if you're not setting forth your own goals, where's the pride and accomplishment? If you're not controlling your own life, you're just following procedures. Stop allowing folks' opinions and judgments to reflect who you are as a person. They are entitled to feel how they feel, but that does not mean it's truth. If you allow someone to control your destiny, you're allowing someone to put boundaries upon your life that you didn't personally introduce. Demand your respect under all circumstances. People are going to treat you any way they want if you allow it. If you don't demand your respect, how can you effectively detect manipulation? Without respect, you're placing your vulnerability in the hands of others. I appreciate what the fuck I want. I disregard what the fuck I want. I don't give a fuck who you are. This is my life and I'm going to control it. Now you can feel how you feel and you are entitled to that, but I'm also entitled not to give a fuck.